is John Lai at Evermite, and I've got uh, Eunice here with me. And uh, yeah, Eunice is a data analyst and uh, works for quite a few marketing agencies. And we thought, yeah, it's the holidays right now, but we just still had some questions from some of the clients we work with. And there are two questions that kind of came in today that we figure we'll just kind of address um, for everyone. And uh, so one of the questions uh, a client that worked with us asked was, um, uh, when should someone use Firebase Analytics versus Google Analytics, especially when uh, you're working with mobile apps? Um, and so I think, yeah, Firebase Analytics versus Google Analytics, that's the question. Uh, I guess for some people who don't really know, uh, Firebase is a suite of tools uh, that uh, offered by Google that developers use, doing mobile development can use. So it offers services, I guess, things like uh, data storage, and it has like uh, analytics reporting, some authentication, quite a few useful tools so that for mobile developers, they can uh, uh, build an MVP or minimum viable product or build a prototype or build something really quickly. And along with Firebase, it comes with an uh, analytics tool, which in some ways uh, people will think that why use Google Analytics when you can use Firebase Analytics? Now on our team, we haven't really used Firebase uh, that much. We may have, I think some of our team members may have tinkered a little bit with Firebase, but we haven't really rolled it into production. But as for Firebase analytics, um, yeah, I mean, we don't have as much comment on that. And Eunice, you may have had some experience between, well, you definitely have experience with Google analytics. Uh, just curious what your thoughts are on, um, you know, Firebase analytics versus Google analytics. Like how does one make a decision between one or the other? I think if you already have like the Firebase suite, it would be like pretty un understandable to have Firebase Analytics as well. If you don't have Firebase suite, then Google Analytics is pretty much um, pretty standard uh, because Firebase Analytics uses Google Analytics information anyway. So it's just taking whatever Google Analytics already has and then just framing it in a minds that it will be easier for like mobile developers to understand like whatever their development work is like. Um, I think it also has a little bit more detail in terms of like uh, more like crash reporting and like understanding that kind of information. Whereas Google Analytics, it's quite basic in the terms of what information it can provide for mobile apps. So in terms of mobile applications, um, Google Analytics isn't really used as much. We always try to like look for other tool sets to try to understand how the mobile app is being used um, because then there isn't, um, the proper tracking, you can't really tell when somebody's using the app in the way that you want it to. So if you wanted some more clickstream information about like whether certain parts of the app is being utilized the way that you want it to be and kind of informing that kind of UX experience, Google Analytics doesn't really have that unless you set up these custom dimensions or custom tagging to it. So mm -hmm. because it's very um, generic, it doesn't have a lot of information into it. So Firebase Analytics is a good tool to have as well. Um, and there's also some other tools out there that we can, uh, that, that are available so that you can see kind of more information about like crash reporting or or the UX experience of the app. Okay, yeah. Oh, and um, uh, Eunice, uh, yeah, I know you're at home right now because of the holidays and everything. Uh, the connection may be a little bit slower. So. It, when if you have certain answers, you can slow down your answers uh, so that just in case you know it broadcasts more easily. Yeah, but well, we got most of that. Um, I think one uh, question is that uh, you mentioned um, you know I was reading up on a little bit like Firebase Analytics versus Google Analytics. Uh, it seems like uh, Google Analytics has a different philosophy to the way it um, uh, tracks information. Uh, it seems like. Google Analytics was primarily developed for the web, and the way you measure web interactions is more like page views or like you know time on page, like as as screens load up. But I'm guessing when it comes to mobile tracking, mobile usage, I, I'm guessing clients want to know more than just whether a screen loads up. Uh, is that the idea? Like, um, because Google Analytics, like, on an, uh, like, because they do like the page views, so it's kind of hard to say, like, on a mobile app where you're gonna have you don't really have pages to kind of track that information because you on a mobile app you don't want to track about which pages people are going on to that you want to track whether people are utilizing your app and scrolling through it or clicking on it or or adding things to their cart or whatever it might be. Um, 
So that kind of information isn't really readily available because they're just getting the screen names instead of like the actual buttons or whatever you have on your app. Right, right. Okay. So for example, people who use mobile apps, they're things you really want to measure is whether are you really clicking on this button are you really scrolling down to a certain area um, you're actually measuring specific behavior on the mobile app um, whereas uh, Google Analytics by default it's not necessarily tracking that instead it's just tracking overall you know, whether you're loading up a page or not and yeah. if you want Google Analytics so can you make Google Analytics track information exactly the same way as Firebase Analytics or capture that same information? You could, but then you'll have to uh, have more code in the back end to capture all these kinds of information as well. So it's not as simple as like just adding like the UA code or the Google Analytics code onto just like the, the back end. You can it's it's because there's a lot more back-end coding that's required, that's probably why it's a lot easier to use other tool sets than Google Analytics for mobile apps. Mm -hmm. OK, makes sense. And um, and you mentioned the word custom dimensions for Google Analytics. Is that the idea that because Google Analytics has the default way of tracking just whether a screen or page loads up, custom dimensions is for a developer to uh, specifically record very specific behavior uh, that they want, whether it's on a web page or a mobile app, that they use custom dimensions to define new custom metrics that they want to measure. And that actually takes more work uh, to do, whereas Firebase Analytics might have more of that automated uh, in a way. Is that the idea? Yeah, um, pretty, pretty much. Like The custom and dimensions and metrics are s s utilized so that you can capture whatever other information that you want. What we usually use it for is for capturing, like, um, if, if we want to capture their ID, that they like the Google Analytics ID that is given to them so that we can kind of track that person over time. Or if you want, you can also track like their email addresses that they've entered in or kind of what other um, content people would kind of type into some search box or like some forums, you can kind of track that information as well. And so it gives you extra um, metrics that you can look on top of that Google Analytics already doesn't already have. Right, OK, yeah. Okay, so I think that makes sense. So in summary, um, it's, uh, oh, actually, I do have one more question then is, let's say you're building a mobile app and you're not using the Firebase tools. Um, is it? Uh, worthwhile to consider using Firebase Analytics, uh, even if you're not using Firebase tools, uh, versus using Google Analytics. Is there is that a case by case situation, or is it generally you might favor one or the other? Mm, I I'm not sure whether Firebase Analytics would be the best for your mobile app. It really depends on what stage of the mobile app process you're in and what kind of tool sets would be most appropriate for that. Like if you're in the development stage versus if you're in the production and kind of just iterating through small updates, you might want to use a different tool. Um, it's it's there's quite a lot of tools out there in terms of um, looking at what you like analytics you can use to optimize your your app development. Um, like depends on what case you okay. are in, and then. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I guess in that situation, it's really just working with your data analyst and working with your developer and your and the rest of the team to do just an evaluation of what tool makes best uh, given your situation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. So in summary, Firebase Analytics versus Google Analytics. Uh, you know, if you're already using Firebase tools, it, you probably prefer to just start using Firebase Analytics. Uh, but if not, you might want to go with uh, Google Analytics. Possibly, you need to kind of evaluate uh, on a situation by situation basis. Uh, Firebase Analytics is catered more towards mobile development, whereas Google Analytics was more catered towards the web initially. But you can still achieve many of the same results as Firebase Analytics with custom dimensions and other uh, customized uh, ways of uh, capturing information. So, okay. Uh, all right. So, we had another question. Uh, the, so, the one question we get from our clients often is, uh, they do.